what's up bull gang this is gonna be a reading for you okay so i feel like we're gonna do a finances and money reading all right so we're gonna see i haven't done one of these in a while for us okay i feel like a lot of relationships have been popping up in the reading so i'm just gonna be straight to the point and ask spirit what's going on with bull gang's finances okay so yeah let's see what's going on i want to get um an oracle just to start us off i'm trying to figure out which oracle i think we're just gonna use i don't even want the energy oracle let's see all right i think we're gonna use a couple of these to start us off the archetypes unknown archetypes all right We'll just get two let's see what's going on with uh taurus's finances and career what do they need to know what do they need to know taurus money finances all right that's too many all right so we got the threshold okay so i feel like you are right at the um I'm hearing, um, hold on, a change is coming, change is coming. Okay, we have the mother, all right? So, all right, so this could have to do with a mom, all right? Or um, something that you're creating, okay? Because I'm seeing these like eggs here, this egg. So you have something here that you are birthing or something is coming into fruition, okay? You're right at the threshold, though. Do not um, give up hope about something, all right? So I feel like you're putting in a lot of work right now or you're really um, nurturing something, okay? You're nurturing something. The tear, okay. So, yeah. Damn, I'm hearing like... Um, struggle with i mean effort without struggle is i don't even know what that um quote is okay but it's like this is like somebody who's working so hard i mean damn okay this is somebody who's really going through it i mean not going through it but like what is the quote i want to say it's like pain and pleasure or i don't know why i want to say something like that but it's basically, you know, the person who works really hard, the tear and the threshold. Somebody is, and then I'm seeing that emerald here. This is beautiful. This is very Taurus energy, okay? So, you know, your um, blood, sweat, and tears are going into whatever this is that you, that you are right at the edge of, all right? So this is something you have a lot of passion for, okay? Um, even if you don't have a lot of passion for it, all right, yeah, the cave, see you in the in the cut working hard okay so you are really um focused right now like nobody can stop you and with all this red okay i'm getting root chakra um sacral and and um i'm honestly getting all of the chakras with this so i feel like your whole body is in it okay because we have the bottom chakras here and then we start with the green the heart chakra and it goes into all this blue like indigo colors okay so i'm getting your whole body is in this or you know you're in the game or something okay so i could be talking to like a um a, a basketball player or something uh some type somebody who does sports but even if this is not sports i feel like you are really focused on your goal all right so let's see what's going on with taurus's uh finances all right let's use these egyptian cards All right, I see the Empress. What's going on with Taurus's financing and money? What's going on with their money? Tell me about the threshold. Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Hold on, a change is coming. Okay, so I definitely feel like in the Magician, yeah, you are 
you're making something happen right now. We have the magician and the wheel of fortune. It's like your mindset, okay? So I'm getting um, the reason behind what you do is very clear to spirit or you're, um, you have a very clear understanding of why you're doing something, okay? You could be doing this for your family. You could be doing this um, so you could get out of your hometown. You could be doing this so you can get that raise. I don't know what you're doing, but wherever the why is, it's very clear to the universe and so it's bringing in this uh this change okay it's you are on the same vibration with whatever this is that you are uh looking to attract <sighs> okay what else we have the wheel of fortune here could be dealing with the sagittarius could be trying to travel all right you could be trying to travel you could be trying to pay for school okay because sagittarius rules the ninth house all right so higher learning higher understandings we have the devil yeah like uh, okay so i'm getting capricorn energy here the 10th house so this has to do with your career your money i feel like though this is why the tears here like you're very much uh, uh, attached okay yeah we have the two of pentacles more capricorn energy so I see you just so focused, like you're juggling with the two of pentacles, okay? You have a lot on your plate. That's what I'm saying. You're either doing this for your family. You're juggling two different streams of income. Like you're working so hard right now. I highly doubt that any of your family members or, or your friends are really seeing you at this time because with the devil card, something is um, controlling you or I don't see this devil as a bad energy, but let's see. What else? Well, yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, baby. There is brand new opportunities coming in here. You are right on the threshold. Also, I'm getting okay with these two uh, brand new opportunities looking straight at each other. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Look at them. They're looking right at each other. Okay. Um, But what's standing in between them here is the devil. So and the two of cups all right so i i feel like there's something here that has a hold on you let's see you clarify the devil it's like you can see these new beginnings you can see it you can taste it you can feel it it's like this new life okay the eight of pentacles yeah what did i say you're working hard that's the devil energy you're just really focused right now. Like you have your, look at that, the nine of pentacles. You guys are going to be bringing in some uh, new opportunities, okay? Because the energy that you're in, there's no way that the momentum is, is gaining momentum, okay? Um, the momentum is gaining momentum. Your efforts, everything is it's gaining momentum. It's like you, you, your efforts will be met. They will be matched. Okay, if you're putting in that work, all right, I see you um, even happy at work. Okay, because this man is in a, a, he's picking grapes, okay? And grapes to me talks about luxury. It talks about, um, you know, just enjoying yourself. Like sometimes if I'm, I, I will get a bag of purple grapes and I will just clean them and just place them on my table just to remind me of luxury, just to remind me of, you know, um, peace and comfort. So, you know, this person is working very hard. They're picking grapes, but I mean, they're picking grapes. You know, this is, think of wine, okay? So I, I see you enjoying yourself though, whatever you're doing. All right, we have the five of cups. So there's something here that you that you were disappointed about. Yeah, but with the temperance card, you're just pushing along. Like, I feel like, you know, you've been at this threshold for a long time or you've been here for a minute, okay? And that's why the tear is here. It's like, okay, well, when is my time? When is When are things going to even itself out? Taurus, I feel like you're right there. All right, let's see. Let's look at the... Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands.
the five of pinnacles yeah look at this person they're sitting here looking for the new opportunity they're searching he's like where is that where is it uh, king of wands page of wands but i'm gonna put it back all right so here comes this fire sign okay it looks like there's a fire sign coming to help you out or you're trying to help this fire sign out or um this fire sign feels left out in the left out from you like here you are you're very focused on your work um and here's this king of wands and it's funny because right before i started this uh reading i gotta put this in so now sorry y'all right before i started this reading i heard king all right, so somebody could be a king around you. That could be your energy. All right, I feel like my daughter's about to bust in here. Tiha, Tiha. Mama did stuff. I didn't mean to cut a show. Okay, so um, sorry, y'all. I gave her some homework to do. I'm supposed to be working on her numbers. Okay, so here's this King of Wands here. They look like it looks like. They're coming to help you, okay? So here you are, five of pinnacles. This is your energy, Taurus, okay? Now, you could have left this person out, or this could be you just really trying to focus on your money. And here's this queen, king of wands watching you or coming in to help. The hanged man. All right, so Pisces energy here. But I feel like somebody, I'm hearing the blame game, all right? The Hierophant, yeah. I feel like somebody is, I feel like there's a King of Wands that you've left out in the cold here. Yeah, then I saw the Death card. All right, so this could have been an old boss or, um, I don't know, somebody here. This could have been a relationship. So you could be working really hard because you're trying to get out, break free from this relationship here. But I feel like somebody had you put somebody on hold because they have to follow your rules or they have to um jump in line or something. The three of wands. Yeah, because you're focused on you're focused on what's coming in. Like you're focused on these new opportunities that's coming in here. With the hanged man, somebody you're trying to make somebody see it your way. You're trying to get them to um focus on the things that you want to focus on. So it's like you want to invest or you want to create something new or you want to take this trip or go here or do that do this and you so you put this person on hold because they're not listening to you or they're not i don't know or the five of pentacles are not providing or they're not going taking their half or something all right let's see what's the wheel of fortune it could be a sagittarius i just feel like you are busting your ass okay why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What's the Wheel of Fortune? The Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, okay? Yeah, the Four of Swords. I feel like you cannot get no sleep. This Four of Swords always makes me think of anxiety. I mean, look at all that red. She has her hand on her head. All right, so in the Nine of Wands, this is uh, the Wounded Soldier, okay? So this person is, um, I'm hearing frustrated, aggravated, because they, they're still staying in the game. They're pushing through, all right? You're staying right there on that threshold. You're not letting up. The Tower. All right, but uh, this is going to come crashing down. Something's going to come crashing down. There's going to be a change here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, the World card. Yeah, this is going to be finished. This, uh, you working, I'm hearing nine hours. Okay, so I don't know if you work nine hours, you work all day and night. There's going to be a cha a shift, okay? Because you can't go but so far, you have to take a break. 
Yeah, the seven of wands. You're going to defend yourself. You can't. So you could have a really hard boss or something. Somebody's saying you need to do this. You need to work, work more, work more. Somebody's expecting something from you. I feel like you're about to put up a boundary. You're going to be like, no. Yeah, because here's the devil. All right, the ace of cups. All right, let's see. So you have three aces here, all right? There are new new energies that are coming in. Yeah, the four of swords. I just feel like you, you have to rest, Taurus, or else there's going to be tears. All right, the three of cups, okay? It's time to, you have to balance. You know, you're ruled by Venus, okay? You're not expected to overwork yourself, you know, or over... When you overwork yourself like that, you're you're not giving anybody any justice, okay? So you have to have balance, okay? You're not going to, um, there has to be a four of swords moment. There has to be a break. There has to be boundaries here. You just can't be working for other people or even yourself over, you, there has to be balance. That's all I'm seeing, okay? I see that you're going to choose that, all right, with the two of wands and the three of cups. I feel like you're going to choose to take some type of a break, relax or something, Okay, let's see. Let's get some Kipper cards for Taurus. All right, so we have thoughts here. So, like I said, I feel like there's somebody here thinking about you or, okay, so there could be a fire sign or... um. Somebody around you who sees that you're working really hard and they want to bring in this rest for you. Yeah, message of concern. Let's see, what is this person thinking about? Messages for Taurus. Yeah, privileged lady, because you are the empress. Okay, man or woman. All right, you, you, you are privileged okay with venus in your in your chart so heavily look at that sudden wealth so we have sudden wealth and privileged lady okay this is what this person is thinking about all right this person knows that you're worth they see you really focused they see you you know um working really hard somebody does not want you to work that hard okay yeah we have child and sudden wealth and great fortune just periods look at that so you have great fortune coming. You you have something brand new. We saw three aces, okay? So there is something uh, coming in for you here. Some type of money is coming in. All right, like I said, your mo the the momentum is, is uh, the momentum is gaining momentum. Lord, okay. The energy is gaining momentum, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. Let's see what astrological energies this tour is dealing with regarding their finances and their money. What did I say? The ninth house. Okay, so I feel like you want to travel. Are right, there something you really want to do in a big way? You're trying to do something big. You're saving up money for something really large, whether this is travel, a home, um, a new car. There's something here that you're busting your ass for and somebody else sees it and they're like, all right, I got you. I got you. Relax. Like, take it easy. Okay. So whether this is school or, you know, you're saving money for this. Um, I don't know, but messages for Taurus. The moon, all right? So I feel like nobody else knows that you're saving for this, okay? We have, um, you know, the moon, yeah, and nurturing, okay? So there was that mother card. So this is something in regards to what you're doing for your family, all right? Your emotions are very, so your emotions are attached to what this is, all right? That's why the tear is here because you this is something that you truly love okay it's something that you're really connected to um emotionally that you're saving for and that you're doing this for spirit knows that okay ancestor card for taurus please
we have answer the call, explore, travel, and live. Exactly. So there is a calling that you're feeling. You're ready to travel. You're ready to go across water. You're ready to do something large. You want to explore. You, there, there's another life that is calling you. That's all these uh, aces. Okay, this new beginning. It's like you can hear it in your sleep. And you're busting your ass for it. Spirit guides, yeah. You have a you have a lot of guides who are here with you, Taurus. Okay, so they can see it. Just like I said, they're gonna match your energy. All right, they're gonna match your energy. All right, the energy is gaining momentum. The more that you but the more that you focus on this that you want. Okay, spirit is right there to like I see you, I got you. Okay, so that's how I that's how I'm seeing this. I'm also seeing for some reason that it's very necessary. Yeah, upskill. Okay, we keep getting that for you. Work, career. So there's something here that you want to you want to expand your career. You you're ready to expand. Like I can feel the energy here. All right. Um I'm also getting it's very necessary for you to remember that it's not all about the money or remember why you're doing it. Find the why because you know, this feels very um spiritual or there's something here that feels like, you know, there's a deeper reasoning. Remember the deep reason why you're doing something, okay? Ask your spirit guides to, um, to communicate with you, help you to remember, help you to stay focused on why you're doing it so that you can gain more energy. All right, what is the purpose? All right, let's get um, Divination of the Ancients for Taurus. We have illusion, okay? So like I said, um, pay attention to why you're doing something, okay? Don't get so wrapped up in it that you're just working yourself to death be, just to do it, just to just to work yourself, okay? So I feel like there is a little bit of an illusion here. Pay attention to what's the reasoning behind this, okay? And we have candle illumination. So I feel like somebody's burning the candle at two ends. And we have dreams, okay? Because this is what you're focused on. It's like, yeah, it's like even in your dreams, you can you can feel that you know you can feel this light, okay? Even in your dreams, you can feel what it is you need. It's like you're not sleeping. All right, so and we have dice gamble, okay? So just pay attention to the why is what I'm getting. All right. I love you guys so much. If you want a personal reading, you can reach me in the description box. All right. Send me an email. I love you. See you in the next video.